is to give that just keeps on giving. Three showdowns, 12 goals this weekend in the AIA Singapore Premier League. The reigning champions with a statement of intent against the Cheetahs. What a finish by Takahiro Tezuka. While the Young Lions finally put an end to their long-awaited victory. The cross comes in and that is 3-1. Harry Stewart has sealed the game. And it's back-to-back -back wins for the Eagles in their feisty affair with the Jaguars. And it's Ilhan Noor who's tapped home for three. It's all coming up right here on the SPL Show. Welcome to another episode of the SPL Show. Now with a few of Tampanese Rovers' matches rescheduled to allow them enough time to prepare for their return to the AIA Singapore Premier League, that meant that it was another three-game match week this weekend. And no doubt the biggest one came right here at the Jurong East Stadium when reigning champions Albrecht Zigata took on Haugang United. One that in the end went in the way of the White Swans. It's Haugang United up against Elberex Negata, and this is a contest that could have serious implications on the title race as the season carries on into its second half. We're all set for what should be a thrilling encounter between these two sides and perhaps a little bit of revenge on the cards as well after Elberex's opening day defeat of Haugang at the Jurong East Stadium. It's a turn of the Cheetahs to show what they can do on home soil. But the one here out on this left-hand side is they look for that diagonal. Doi oh, takes it down. Beautifully, straight into the arms of Koga. Have a look at the quality on that first touch. Just takes it away from Yamashita. Coming once again, it's a quick free kick taken, catches everyone off guard. Nikki Singh into the side netting. Tezuka missing out of the starting lineup. Taniguchi is dropped into midfield alongside Chiku. Nagasawa drives across, plays it into Hashioka. He's got options for the cutback! Here, drives across into those central positions there before releasing Hashioka. It's an intelligent cutback. Could have picked up another assist for himself if they'd been able to find the finish there. A young man down that left-hand side. Another young man down his right-hand side. Kishon has looked very lively into Doi! Back to front, left to right into Kishon. With space to deliver quality. Also had that two-month break for internationals and for the AFC Champions League. Linesman's flagging, referee waves, play on. Kishon with the chance and it's sneaked in at the near post! What a moment for this young man! Brought on in the 26th minute, the last game against Tanjong Paga, taken off at half-time. Getting a start this time around. Just with that pressing game, trying to make sure that Elbrex can't get into any rhythm, but they've done really well to play through that press on this occasion. The White Swans into Kurama Kondo. Can he finish? He does so expertly into the far post. Wonderfully worked team goal. Just carve right through that pressure from Haugang. And move the ball so quickly. Have a look at that here at halftime. Substitute Tezuka with a quick turn in midfield. He's able to play it into Kondo. Who gets it back off Taniguchi. It's all about keeping his composure. How about that for a finish? Just into a bit of space for Chiku. Makes it into Taniguchi. The space for Tezuka down this left hand side. What a finish! By Takahiro Tezuka. How about that for a bit of invention with the finish from the halftime substitute. Plenty of space on the break here for Elbrex to go and exploit. Had his angles closed off. Well, almost all his angles anyway. That's his class and his quality that he's brought to this Elbrex side. 
Looking so comfortable and confident on the ball. Elberex pushing forward. Get an indication of four minutes of time. And on with Taniguchi, can he finish? Maksat! But an incredible challenge that keeps this game alive for Haogang. Put his whistle to his lips. Takes him down for a while. I'm sure they'll go back on. And there we go. A full-time whistle here at the Haogang Stadium. Sees Elberex Nigata with a come from behind win here over the home side. A much improved second half performance. It was a very, very tough match. We, we could show an exciting play. Um, so uh, I'm satisfied with the performance of the players. But we should be prefer, pre prepare, prepare for the next match. The boys were very determined to redeem themselves, that's for sure. Uh, they shown that uh, we can play uh, much better than what we did the last game. Uh, well, unfortunately, I, I, I mean, physically they, 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 are, they were pushing. Uh, they were very determined. Um, as a coach, I can't complain. So it's all three points then for the leaders as they extended their gap at the top. Now perhaps the biggest result of the weekend came at the Tuapayo Stadium when Balestia Khalsa welcomed the Young Lions. Both sides looking for all three points, but it was the one who have been winless and rock bottom who came out tops to secure their first win of the 2021 season. This is Balestia Khalsa Football Club versus the Young Lions. Two teams who are struggling for any sort of form here. Ballester Khalsa are in seventh position, just five points ahead of Young Lions. Be taken by Ayman. They have turned forward. Azim doesn't get there. This is Zuzu. Maybe a chance here. And the, uh, the ball didn't fall kindly for Zuzu there. A mistake by Azim. Only as far as the header by Ensa Brutovic and here goes the Young Lions, the ball comes forward for Ilhan Fandi. Can he get there first? The shot is on and he does well. And it's a foul and a penalty is given. The foul on Ilhan Fandi, Mayamir Ahakim, the skipper against Hami Shain. Almost, it's 1-0. Hami Shain makes it 1-0 for the Young Lions. As the ball comes wide, and this is Daniel Go again with loads of space. He's got Ilhan in the middle, and the ball comes in, and a great shot there. And Saiful Nizab, don't think Karin Nadim got hold of that. He goes for goal, and Zaiful spills it, and the ball comes in into the middle, and a chance here, and it's 2 0. It's Daniel Go on the rebound and you got to say that has got to go down as a goalkeeping error as the free kick from Joel Chu was parried by Zaiful Nizam but then only as far as a young Lions player here yeah, so there's loads of time for Ballester Khalsa to come back into this game oh this is good play again and a good shot good save oh this was brilliantly done from Karim Nadim there wasn't it Scratch check on the left hand side and a shot and it's 2-1 is it it's given it's not offside and just like that Ballester Khalsa pulls one back and we talked about that early goal in the second half and that's what exactly Ballester Khalsa has done oh ball now this is a good play for Zuzul now good strong play against Jacob Mahler Oh, this is good turn, and this is Zuzul with a centre, and has one! And that's a miss. Oh, that's intelligent ball for Joel Chu. The first time effort there. Daniel Go and a mistake there from the defence. And another chance. And in the end, that was a great save from the skipper, making amends for his mistake in the first half. But what a save and what a chance for the young Lions here to take a three goal. Handle the ball in front of goal. Has one again. Putting it in. Is this offside? It's not. 
Christian Krachak there misses in front of goal, but goalkeeper does ever so well. Amishahin, this is a good play. The cross comes in, and that is 3 1. Harry Stewart, who has had a wonderful game in the middle of the park for the Young Lions has probably sealed the game. Krachak, a good ball. This is Zuzul. And can he make it 3-2 here? Yeah. And he does! And it is going to be a grandstand finish to this game here in the final moments. It is 3-2. What a ball from Christian Krachak. Caught the whole back line square. And yes, this is the first win for the Young Lions in the AIA Singapore Premier League season 2021. Well, we came into this game. Um, first half was, was excellent from the boys. You know, we came in with a game plan and uh, the boys executed it really, really well. Like I said, you know, in, in the, the pre-match, I said it's very, very tough to play on this ground and to play against a team like Balestia because, you know, those long balls, the physically big players, yeah. But uh, overall, yeah, we we deserve the victory because the boys, you know, they, they they carry out the game plan. And what's what's very very pleasing for me was that they show great desire and the fighting spirit. I mean, what I said before the game, we can keep clean sheet. I think it will be good. But we we we, we never keep clean sheets. We consider some uh, silly goals, you know, some individual mistake, and then then. Uh, uh, it was very difficult, you know, you must attack and then uh, the counter-attack, they're giving us a problem, but it's okay. I mean, we're trying our best, it's just we are, was uh, second best in anything today. At last, a win for the Young Lions this season. Now, finally, Geelong International headed west in their clash against Tanjong Pagai United. Both sides came into this one on a high from their respective victories last weekend. While the Eagles went in search for their fourth win this season, the Jaguars were looking to go four games unbeaten in hopes of extending their best streak since returning to the SPL. Here are the highlights. We're coming to you live from the Jurong East Stadium ahead of this match between Tanjong Paga United and Geylang International. Both teams arriving on the back of big, big wins on game week 12, setting us up for what should be an intriguing battle here at the Jurong East Stadium. Looking for a pink shirt, Zarfan Raiza got a touch to it, an important touch, but Barry Maguire keeps it alive and looks to play it in. That's gone all the way through. And that's the opening goal, it is Ilhan Noor who I believe got the final touch to give Geelang International the lead here. Danny Kim did ever so well to get an important touch. Ilhan Noor launches it long. And a foot race between Shake and Amy. And Shake Hamza has put the ball into the back of his own net. Confusion there between Zarfan Rohaizat and Shake Hamza. And that's gifted Geylang International a second goal. Ilhan Noor with the long ball forward. Shaki and Amy on a foot race. Shaki was looking for his keeper who was nowhere to be found. An unfortunate communication breakdown between him and Zarfan Raizad. And here come Geylang International again. They smell blood and it's Ilhan Noor who's tapped home for three. And the Eagles are in the ascendancy. It's Ilhan Noor with his second goal of the day. Once again, Amy Reka and Matthias Moresh involved. And Amri's gone down again. Nothing doing, says the referee. As Barry Maguire launches it long. And it's come all the way to Moresh, who has a chance here. And has space. Farid Summit looking to close down the danger. It is Moresh. Zarfan Rohaiza did ever so well to deny Moresh. Anaki Ismit keeps it alive for the Jaguars. Kairul Amri. With the low ball, that's found Luis Junior. That's half a chance. And this man only needs half a chance. Luis Junior has pulled one back for the Jaguars. And that sparked this contest into life. An hour played here at the Jurong East Stadium. And Tanjong Paga United have a lifeline. 
Uh, Moresh has done ever so well to turn his defender. And here comes Moresh running at the Tanjung Paga goal. This is a chance for Moresh and that's an important save. And that was a chance for Amy Rekha to give his team a comfortable cushion. Unfortunately, he could not. Once again, it was Mateus Moresh, the architect, bombing forward before drawing a sharp save from Azarfan Rohaizat. And they come again here, it's Moresh. Flag has stayed down, Matthias Moresh. Sharon Sabrin went in all blooded. And Moresh has stayed down and looks to be in pain. And that is that at the Jurong East Stadium. It is the Eagles who have arrived at the home of the Jaguars. And it is Geelang International who clinched an important 3-1 victory over Tanjong Paga United. I think it's important. It has been a while. We have two wins in a row and that's nice to see. I think it was a bit ugly during the game at certain part, you know, but uh, I thought the, I thought the boys stayed, stayed out throughout the 90 minutes and keep on fighting, you know. I mean, not the best of football to watch, but I think the three points are very important tonight. I think uh, it's a tale of two half. Uh, I think uh, it's a very good game for a coach because in the first half, they, they changed the game plan uh, suited to our strength and we have to make changes along the way uh, it's as i think as a coach uh, but credit to gelang and uh, no ali for for the change of plan so this is how things stand after match week 13. Leaders Albrecht Snigata stretched their lead at the top to four points ahead of the Lion City Sailors who still have a game in hand. But at the bottom end of the table, the back-to-back -back wins for Geelang International sees them move up to fifth on 13 points with Tanjong Paga United a further three points back. And that huge win for the Young Lions meant that they are now on seven points, just two off Balestia Khalsa. The next round will see another three-game match week lined up for us. The White Swan setting off the affairs with a showdown against the Jaguars. This will be on the 6th of August at both sides' home base, the Jurong East Stadium. The following day will take us to the Jalan Basa Stadium as the Young Lions hope to continue their strong performance when they welcome the Cheetahs, who themselves are on the hunt for a switch in luck after their back-to-back -back defeats since the restart. And finally, to close us out are the Sailors who are back in action as they travel to the Tuapayo Stadium for their clash against the Tigers. That will be on Sunday, the 8th of August. Well, once again, the AIA Singapore Premier League delivered quality football across the board. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Sadly, we've come to the end of the show. But before I go, here are the top three goals of the weekend. Enjoy them and I'll see you soon. And can he make it 3-2 here? Yeah, and he does! What a ball from Christian Krachak and Zuzu with a very good finish. With the low ball that's found Luis Junior. That's half a chance. And this man only needs half a chance. Luis Junior has pulled one back for the Jaguars. Makes it into Taneguchi. The space for Tezuka down this left hand side. What a finish! by Takahiro Tezuka. That's his fourth goal of the season. That's his class and his quality that he's brought to this Elbrecht side. That's an incredible finish.